what's going on guys it is Caleb and today we are bringing you another tutorial um, unfortunately a couple of the videos that I uploaded and um, a lot of the pre-recorded videos is I went um, quite a ways ahead and recorded some future content that I was going or I was planning on uploading but unfortunately my um, QuickTime didn't record my audio so unfortunately I took those videos down and um, I'm gonna redo them all so it's all good so we are continuing our um, web fundamentals track our HTML course and you may notice that the screen does look a lot different now it's going to be um, in high resolution so 720p so if you're not already watching in HD make sure to go down and click 720 and um, make sure to start watching these things on full screen because I'm gonna um, start using the Code Academy's new uh, uh, user interface instead of the old one that's one of the main reasons or that is the main reason why uh, you're getting the full screen and not just the uh, the content in other words and so you see we have extra padding on the left and right sides so um, speaking of padding that's gonna be something you're gonna learn in this course so let's go ahead and go back to HTML basics we are on, on adding images to your site so um, here we get to learn how to add images to our site so let's go ahead and get uh, started and let me just go ahead and reset our editor and I'm really liking the new um, interface. I really like the way it code. The only way I don't like about it is how you have to click the preview button down here and it brings you to the uh, web page, but it's all good. So, you've done an awesome job so far. Here's a quick summary of things we learned. HTML is used to give website structure. We open HTML files using a browser and the browser renders or shows us the file. HTML files have head and body, just like you. In the head, we have a title tag. And we use these to specify the web page's name. Also, we learn how to make headings and paragraphs. So, instructions are go ahead and give your um, website a title by putting something between the title tags. So, we can just say something like my site, because you know we are very creative. Um, and it wants us to create a new heading 3 sized heading in the body and make your heading say anything you want. So, let's go down to the body tag, make a new h3 tag, and um, Say something like Pop Tarts or whatever you want. And then uh, it wants us to create three paragraphs. So we can create one paragraph for the P tag and say something like um, blah. Make another P tag and say something like our good. And our last paragraph can say something, I don't know, free. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and click View Preview here. We have our H3 tag up here, Pop Tarts. We have our um, blah, our good, and free paragraphs down there. So let's go back to our editor and submit for the code. And we got it correct. So let's um, go back to the editor and let's see here. Do we start next lesson? All right, yeah, next lesson. All right, so this is a little bit different. Not completely used to it, but all right. So adding images. And let's go ahead and just um, once again reset this. <clears throat> you can add images to your website to make them look ultra fancy. You just need an image tag, like so, image. This tag is a bit different from the others. Instead of putting the content between the tags, you tell the tag where the tag or where to get the picture using the SRC, which is also known as the source attribute. It also uh, it's also different because this tag self closes itself. It doesn't have a separate tag to close it. Note the forward slash and the tag to close it. Image, or, or um, in other words, we create the um, start of a tag and we put our tag name, image. We specify the attributes and whatnot. And then we self-close this tag down here by the forward slash and then the, we are closing the end of the tag. And I'll show you a demonstration of this in a second. Check out the tag to the right. It adds a picture of the rubber duck to the page. You can see it by clicking the result tab. See the web address or URL for Uniform Resource Locator after the SRC? Pretty much it's just um, pointing, the SRC is pointing, saying, hey, to get this rubber duck photo, go to httpphotobucket.com, and it specifies the URL for that image. Every image on the web page has its own image URL. Simply right-click on the, an image and choose Copy Image URL. Paste that URL in quotes after the SRC to insert within your image tag. 
Instructions. Add a second image below the first one. Make sure it's before enclosing body tag. If you can't think of a good picture, use this ninja. So um, I'm going to go ahead and copy this ninja that they've already um, uh, given us down here. I'm going to copy the image URL for this ninja. But um, as you can see, normally whenever we have a tag, if we were to do something like this, you would think you would close your image tag like this, and that is completely wrong. Now, self-closing tags look like this. That is a self-closing tag. It's just one line. And well, this is one line, but usually whenever you see two tags, I like to hit enter and have spaces, so whenever you nest things within them, you can um, see them a lot better. But that's the improper way to do them, and this is the proper way to do them. Now remember to have the SRC attribute, which is also known as the source. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste the um, the little, uh, let's see here, paste the URL for this ninja page. So we go ahead and submit our code. Actually, let's go to view preview first. Now you see that we have our ninja right here to the right, and instead we the let rubber ducky to the left. So let's go ahead and submit our code. And we got it correct, so let's go on and start the next lesson. So now we're going to learn how to click that image. Good work. Now you know how to add images to your website, but what if you want to click on an image and lead you somewhere else? The anchor tag is the one used to make hyperlinks or just links on web pages. These are the words or images you click to go to a new page. Just like the image, the anchor tag has an attribute that tells the link where to go. Instead of using the source, uh, anchor tags uses href's like so, and it starts off the anchor tag, and then it's defining an uh, href um, attribute, and it's telling it the href is telling it where or what website to go to whenever you click on it. Now, if you wanted to make a text link, you would put text between the uh, anchor tags. For this is not a self-closing tag. This is a tag that actually has um, a start tag and, an, and a close tag instead of an image tag where it's all in one line. Now, <clears throat> the href stands for the hypertext reference. And remember, when we said that hypertext, that is links, is text you can click on. Well, href tells that link where to go. The text after the href is the web address. And the text between the anchor tags is the text you click on. So. Pretty self-explanatory there, guys. So, instructions on for this exercise is, here's how to turn an image into a link. Put an anchor tag before your image tag and uh, um, after the image tag. So, essentially, what you are doing, you're nesting an image tag within an anchor tag. And, um, I think it just wants us, does it want us to create a new one? Let's see here. Um, and quotes after the HRI, put, okay, so, I don't think it really matters we can do the same one. So what we want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and indent this one one more and what I'm going to do, I'm going to tab over and create a new anchor tag. Remember that's what an anchor tag looks like, it's just double A's. Now I'm going to delete the end tag and I'm going to put it at the very bottom before we ever get started. So now as you can see we have the first of our anchor tag, the start tag right here and we have an image tag nested within the anchor tag for it is within the um, start and end tag within the anchor tag. So anyways, now the fun part. We get to define the href attribute. And what we can do now is say something like http forward slash www.google.com. Uh, so now, if we were to go ahead and view our preview, Whenever we hover over our rubber duck, there's not going to be, um, if you look at our mouse pointer, it's just a normal mouse. But if we hover over the um, ninja here, we have the little clickable. And if we were to click on it, it would go to google.com, as you can see down here in the bottom left-hand corner. It's trying to go to it, but Code Academy is not going to let it go to it because it doesn't want us to leave Code Academy. So we're just going to go back to the editor for now and submit our code. And we got it correct, so that was obviously correct. So, now we have images and links. Good work. Let's make sure you really understand images and links before we move on to the review. So, what it wants us to do, between the body tags, add two images using the image tag. One should be a link and the other should not. The link can go anywhere you want. After your two images, create a link that's just one line of text. 
It can link anywhere you want. Click or click the hint if you need some help. So um, to quickly grab an uh, a picture, and you can do this anywhere. I'm just gonna come up here to the um, my little icon on Code Academy, and let me see if I can right click him. I don't think I'm gonna be able to right click him, unfortunately. That's new. Maybe I can right click him. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna right click this little um this guy whoever made this uh Langley. I'm copy his code or his um URL for his image. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and make a new image tag. And what we're going to do is we're gonna define the source, the SRC, and I'm gonna paste in the image URL. Now if I view the preview, we just have his um picture there. Now if I go back to the editor, what we want to do is create another image, and I'm just going to copy this image so, um, so I don't have to retype it. Now I'm going to hit enter, and now we want to make an anchor tag again and add the href. And um, what we want to do, once again, you make this go wherever you would like, and I'm just going to make this go back to google.com. Now I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to paste the image tag back in here. So if we go and view our preview, now we have two images of this guy, but one of them, the first one, is not clickable and the second one is clickable. As you can see, the hand changes, the mouse changes from a pointer to a clickable hand. Now, the third and final thing that we're going to do, and this is new, and if you've already um, messed around with putting the code between the anchor tags, you'll see this, we're going to make... Um, a clickable, clickable hypertext. So um, what we're going to do, is essentially, we're going to make a link. But once again, href, go into google.com. And now I'm just going to hit enter again, and I'm going to say something like, click me. And if we go back to our preview now, we now have this text here that says click me so that's pretty cool so we can obviously click this text I can see it does look like a normal um, hyperlink that you'll see anywhere on any other web pages um, you do see images with um, anchor tags around them all the time especially if you like for example this right here or anywhere on a website you know you run into these all the time so this is a really good thing to know so let's go ahead and save and submit and um, let's start the next lesson so we got that correct and then our fifth exercise congratulations well done you know the basics of creating a web page if you're feeling lucky go ahead and tackle build your own web page project and if you go ahead and um, check out the other videos I already made a video covering that project so that will help you right along with the project so guys if you like the video make sure to like it if you get stuck or just have any comments leave a comment down below and stay tuned for more don't forget to subscribe guys until next time it's been Caleb have a nice night